Now let's learn about homophones. Homophones are also known as similar sounding words. Homophones are also known as similar sounding words. Homophones, homo which means same, phones which means sound, same, sound. So homophones are two or more words that have same sound but different meaning. So homophones are the words that have same sound but different meaning. Let's see few examples which are given in our textbook. Shall we? The first word we have is two. The first word we have is two. T O O two and the other word is T W O two. Both they sound both sounds same but they have different meaning. Here the word the word T O O two which means Mm, something in addition or uh, something which is needed or uh, wanted more and here the word TWO2 which means it means the number 2. The next example is 1. O-N-E 1 and W-O-N 1. Again you can see the two words they have same sound but different meaning. The word O-N-E-1 which means it again represents the number 1 and here the word W-O-N-1 which means it is the past tense of the word win that is winning. For example, we can say India won the match. And here the next homophones we have here is dear, D-E-E-R, dear and the next word is dear. D E A R dear. So dear, dear. You can see both the words they have same sound but different meaning. The word dear which means it represents the animal and this word it represents uh, it represent uh, it means um, we use the word dear to refer someone who is very close to us. That is, in a friendly manner, we use the word dear who are very close to us. To them, we use dear. And the last word we have is sun. S-O-N, sun and S-U-N, sun. They have same sound but different meaning. The word sun, S-O-N, sun, which means a boy or a male child. And here the word sun, S-U-N, sun which is we see uh, the sun in the sky which is present in the sky the big star the biggest star